ATP stores energy. How could that be? It's biochemistry. So a lot of people have been asking like how I find the energy to do all of this on top of earning a PhD. And the answer, my body is turning over hundreds of pounds of ATP a day. And so is yours, it's nothing special. So what do I mean by turning over ATP? Well, first of all, what is ATP anyway? So if you read like books or that sort of thing, um, like textbooks and that sort of thing, you hear things, you often hear ATP referred to as like a form of cellular energy money or energy storage. Um, so ATP is stands for adenosine triphosphate. It's actually the A in the R in RNA's like letter code. So it's not the A in RNA, which is ribonucleic acid. It's not that acid A, but it's the A in like the A U um, C G um, the RNA letters. It's the letter A, but it has a lot more function than the other letters. It's super cool. But anyway, it's the same letter that gets put into RNA. Um, and it has this adenosine, so this like sugar, um, this sugar base part. So this is um, like the A part, and then that's the um, triphosphate. So it has these three phosphate groups. Um, so a phosphate group is just uh, um, this phosphorus surrounded by oxygens. Um, so atoms are made up of protons, electrons, and neutrons. Um, and the, the, the important thing to keep in mind here is that the electrons are um, negatively charged and that's what atoms will share in order to form bonds. Um, and so they share like a pair to form a single bond and two pairs to form a double bond. But anyway, this is all just involving the sharing of these negatively charged electrons. So the proton part of atoms are positively charged, but if you have an imbalance of the positive and negative charges, then you get a charged particle. So with these phosphate groups, they have more electrons than they have protons, and so they're negatively charged. Um, so you might, just so you don't get confused, you might see these like the double bond like drawn in different ways or whatever. And that's just because um, there's this thing called resonance. So basically all those electrons are kind of being shared around. Um, and so it doesn't matter which one you draw is the like double bond and which one is the single bond or that sort of thing. But anyway, the thing with ATP is that you have three of these really negatively charged things clustered right next to each other. And I like to think of this kind of like a clamp spring and how like if you were to let a spring go, it would like zoom out. So when you're, the energy that's like stored with ATP is actually the energy being used to hold together these negatively charged groups. And so your cells spend inner spends like ATP and spend energy in various ways in order to make those bonds. So those bonds really don't like to be held together because you have these negatively charged things held together and opposite or like charges repel. So the energy that, so we call this like a high energy bond, um, this energy being used to hold it together. And then you can use that energy. Um, if you break that bond, you can use that energy to do other things. So it's really weird thinking about like a bond having energy. And this confused me for so long. So it's the, th the thing you need to keep in mind is this is potential energy. So this is chemical potential energy. So it's easier to think of like potential energy in the form of like kinetic potential kinetic energy. So kinetic meaning like moving. Um, so say you had like a bowling ball at the top of a hill or the top of like a gradient, um, a ramp. I don't have a bowling ball. I don't have a ramp. I do have a graduated cylinder and I have some tape. So if I have it up here, it doesn't really seem like it is like it has energy, but really it does have potential energy because if I let go, it drops. And say I were to have like another thing that did drop. This is very hard to draw. Okay, let's see if this will work. Okay, so if I drop this, oh, there we go. Okay, so basically you can transfer energy that you use like from one thing to do another thing. And so you can use the energy that you're releasing from breaking the ATP to do other things like put together DNA and RNA and do all of these different processes. And the really, really, really cool thing about ATP is that it's kind of like an arcade token in the form that you can take in the sense that you can like take inner, you can take inner, 
energy sources, like all different sources. So say you eat some sugar, you eat some fat, you eat some protein, you eat some whatever. They go through all of these like biochemical pathways um, that we call metabolism. And so we have metabolism has anabolism, where it's building things, and catabolism, which is breaking things down. It's all interconnected and webby and that sort of thing. Um, but so in these pathways, like glycolysis and that sort of thing, energy is being spent and energy is being produced. And the, the basic thing is that energy from all of these different sources can be turned into used to make ATP. So to take like a molecule of ADP, so adenosine diphosphate and like put a phosphate group on the end. So that takes energy, remember, because you don't those molecules don't want to be together. They're negatively charged. They hate each other. They don't want to be next to each other. And here you are forcing them to be next to each other. So that takes energy. Um, but then that, so that allows you to store energy in this form. And then that can be like spent in by it anywhere, no matter where that energy originally came from, it becomes the same ATP. So the ATP from that, um, like ice cream you just had is the same as the ATP that would have come from that peanut butter you just had. Like it's the same ATP. So when it goes to be used in a reaction, that reaction doesn't care where it comes from. It doesn't know where it comes from. All that evidence is lost. It's just ATP. It's like that arcade token. Who knows where that arcade token came from? You could go to an arcade. Maybe, you, maybe it's um, you put in a five dollar bill. Maybe you put in a one dollar bill. Maybe you put in euros or pesos or if something if the machine takes them. It's all the same. It goes in. Now you have this inner energy like money um so that's how your body is able to use this like energy storage form um atp has a lot of other like usefulness so there are um there's these um proteins we've talked about called kinases what they do is they actually transfer atp from um they transfer like that last phosphate group so we call this the gamma phosphate they transfer that to a protein and that or to another molecule and so um in metabolism this is used a lot in order to like pay for steps in a metabolic process that are expensive like so with glycolysis that's like um breaking down glucose so the blood sugar uh, there are some steps that are really like awkward chemically um, and don't want to happen. Like kind of like how we don't like the ATP doesn't want to be like put back together or whatever. So you have to um, spend energy to do that. And so when you have these pathways, you often have energy spending steps where you're actually like putting a phosphate. So a kinase is transferring a phosphate group onto a molecule, and then you're going to get that energy back later when you um, break it. And it can also serve as sort of like a commitment phase because your cells are actually like committing to the process if they're spending energy. Like they, so they're not just going to like willy dilly do things that um, don't really want to happen. Um, and this keeps everything under control in your body um so that reactions aren't just like going off all over the place um uncontrollably um the other thing so when you add this high energy group you're kind of like putting a flag on a part of a molecule that can then make it easier to break that molecule um or it can kind of like signal oh hey this is a spot to be broken because all this it kind of looks all the same before you put that phosphate group on there right but anyway the, the way it's doing this is actually because it's like it this now you're introducing this high energy group and it makes it easier to then take that group off and transfer it to something else and swap something off instead in, fact, in place of it. So ATP is just like this really, really awesome thing. Um, but it's um, one of its roles is that's this like energy money and that's how all of this kind of like fits together. Um, and I hope that helps you understand things. I have a longer post and that sort of thing about it. Um, but now I'm going to use my ATP to finish my thesis.